Joint manipulation, tech breakdown. We have our opponent in an overlapping wrist lock. So let's, I'm gonna keep moving around everywhere. Ha ha ha. Let's go over the chicken wing. First of all, whichever hand is closest to the thumb, that hand is gonna wrap over that thumb. That allows me to keep control of his hand, but when my right hand does something else, my left hand can keep wrist pressure. Remember the rule, if he straightens his wrist, I no longer have control. So the whole joint manipulation game involves me keeping that wrist bent and pressure on. So once I have that, hand will slide down to elbow. Two ways to do that, one is to grab, the other is to hook right here. But I've gotta get that elbow up, or get that elbow up. From there, I have to turn the wrist into his armpit. This is where a lot of students lose that wrist. So I'm gonna keep, Mr. Gould's gonna love this, I'm gonna keep a certain degree of pressure right here. As I go, that hand's gotta stay bent to get to here, all right? Let's show again from that side. So, whoa, we're having fun with this now. So, I go here, thumb over, somehow lift, as I go, I have to turn the hand here, keeping pressure. And then pull to center is where the tap out happens. All right, that's just an in-depth detail on the chicken wing. Um, I'd say go practice, but I don't know who you're practicing on at home. So come, come practice, yes.